Okay, are you guys ready for that intro? Remember those intros I always love to do? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry for this like weird lighting. I'm actually in my bathroom right now. It's really hard to find like good lighting in anywhere around my house right now. But today I want to talk to you guys about something that actually uh, happened to me almost a year ago. It's the reason why I stick to working out at home as much as I can and honestly, I still pay for the gym. I don't know why. But um, let's go. Let's go show you guys what happened. Alright, now let's see if I can get this set up in a spot where it would actually look good for lighting. Okay, so this is the reason why I do not go to the gym and why I stick home for whenever I want to work out. Let me just get it out of the way. Picture right here. That's actually from my Snapchat. I was in the hospital. I was in the ER. I was, uh, but I'm going to tell you guys how that actually happened right now. now. I'm no, like, gym expert or freak whenever it comes to, you know, working out everything. Like, whenever I'm at the gym, I'm kind of like an amateur, just like a rookie. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to go out there and lift up weights. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, really. So I was at this, um, I don't know, it's like the squat press. I don't know if that's actually what you call it. Like you're doing squats, but you got weights on your back and you're just going up and down, up and down repeatedly. And we were about to start the workout. My friend Kyle, you guys know him from my other video. He actually was like, yo, take off the 45 pound over there. It'll start a little bit lighter. I was like, all right. So yeah, we take the uh, the 45 pound plate off. He took his end off and then I go to take mine off. Keep in mind, this is 45 pounds. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking, but my ass was daydreaming whenever I was trying to slide off a freaking 45 pound plate off a metal bar where my foot was placed directly underneath. I think you guys know where this is going. And as the plate came to the end of the bar, it just, I, I didn't get a good enough grip on it. I didn't even think that, you know, put my hands underneath the, like the plate whenever it was coming off slowly. And then it dropped and my ass didn't even think to move my toe because I didn't think it was there. And then 45 pounds, just a straight just destroyed my toe. When I say destroyed, guys, I have very, I have permanent nerve damage in my toe, so whenever I run too much or add too much pressure to it at a certain time, it will hurt and start bleeding. I looked down at my foot, uh, took off my shoe, and yeah, there was blood all the way through the sock, so that was not a good sign. I took off the sock, and my toenail, my toenail was off, yeah. It wasn't completely off, but like the, uh, it was hanging off the toe. I'm sorry if I'm being very, like, gory about this. So the actual injury itself was not the worst pain I've ever experienced. That that's coming up. I, I couldn't believe the amount of pain I was feeling at the hospital. We get to the hospital and there's about a hundred people, like no no joke, there's like, I swear to God, there's so many people in the waiting room at the ER and I had to sign in. So I signed in Nathan Rube, you know, broken toe, pulverized toe, literally pulverized. I waited about half an hour and that's really not that bad for anyone that's been like in the doctor's office or emergency room. You know it could take like literally two hours to wait. So I was pretty thankful that we didn't have to wait that long. So I finally get into the waiting room, or not like the waiting room, like where I'm supposed to be, the doctor's gonna come talk to me, you know what I'm saying. And then they come evaluate the injury and everything so they determine you know oh we gotta you know we gotta wash this out we gotta get the hot water you gotta put your toe under or above like a bucket so we can get the blood out I'm like great this is gonna sound this is gonna be not painful at all I should have recorded all of this but that wasn't like what was going through my mind at the time so I don't know so he cleaned out the toe and that was actually really it really did hurt like a bunch of hot water going to the area which was affected it's that's painful but let me get to the painful part this was probably the worst pain I've ever experienced in my entire life no joke I didn't know I didn't know it was coming but in order for them to like you know do like the cleaning process and the healing process for my toe they had to numb the area in which it was affected so the guy came out with a bunch of needles you know so that he can numb my toe so that they can start the stitching and I wouldn't feel the stitching okay so whenever you're doing this like numbing process okay you're supposed to hit it in an area where your toe actually can't feel it you're supposed to target the neurons that won't like actually hurt I don't know if I'm saying this right the neurons in your body that you know spread the pain or whatever feeling you have that you're supposed to hit he hit it in the exact spot where it hurt a lot so finally, we come to the conclusion that it's just been too hard to find a spot that, uh, you know, won't freaking hurt like hell whenever you put the needle inside my toe. And he's like, do you want me to try to numb it again? Or do you want to get the rest of the stitches, five stitches by the way, I had five stitches, or do you want to get the rest of the stitches done without the numbing? It hurts so badly and I just said yes. Yeah, I just, dude, I had my parents, like, my dad and my sister right there. I was just squeezing their hand because it hurt so much, bro. I got the stitches done without the area being numbed, okay? Think of that. You might not think it hurts, but the toe is one of the most sensitive spots on your body. I would have preferred to get, like, you know, ten more of these tattoos in my bicep or inner bicep than get this done one more time. All right, but that is how... I broke my toe. By the way, for anyone wondering why my arm was stretched out that entire time, just looked weird and awkward, I'm sorry about that. It's just because I was trying to keep the curtains from getting into the lens, so I was just like holding it back. My dad wants me to shovel before he gets back home, and I will, but yo, it is bad right now. Look at this, bro. It's like a, it's like a white out. I wanted to wear this for the start of my video, and I forgot about it, but look at the amount of cat hair on there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to go, you know, take that lint off. I got me the lint brush. This is always what I use to get hair off of anything. It's really just cat hair, man. It's really annoying, too, because cats 
just, they know how to get hair on your sh This is my face hair, bro. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ruin it. This is either going to look really bad or it's going to look really good. Three, two, one. Okay. And I don't know how good that looked, but I'm going to figure it out in post-production. How much longer is it going to be snowing today? Yes. It's going to snow today. How much longer is it going to snow today? Yes, it's going to snow today. Okay, so I just uploaded another Twitter video. I just wanted to say that I was, you know, making another YouTube video. And I was just mentioning if you guys want to say hi, you know, reply to the tweet or anything. If you want to do that, just go for it. But if you didn't, move on. But for all those people that do want to say hello, let's check you guys out. All right, there is a video. Let's see who we got here. Okay, Jameer, it's my boy, 1K by June, baby. You know, we're going to try. We're going to try. We got Hannah there. I'm down. That's what's up. That's what's up. Quinn says, all I want to say is I don't want hash Hashtag phase night, you already know, you already know. CRX just wants to say hello, I respect that. Hashtag phase night, we like that, we like it. You rock or you roke? I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong, like I said, I'm sorry. But he says, me, brother, I got you. Wait, what's his name? Uh, creator code void. Okay, creator code void, just make sure you use that code. If you want to turn a vision into reality, you have to give 100% and never stop believing in, in your dream. Motivation is key to sticking to the plan, brother. Keep phase clan in your sights and you will achieve it. Disgusting work ethic is what you need to succeed and have it. Or, and, and you have it. Sorry, I messed up that last part. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Um, that's really, it's cool. It means a lot that you actually just took your time out of the day to write something like that. Just out of nowhere. I don't know. It's cool. So, thank you for that. Then we got Spam. He says, hi, YouTube. Pays Nate 2 k 19 We like that. Do you guys realize how hard it is to actually read these, like, through my camera right now? That's what I'm doing right now. Then we got Gabby saying, hey, uh, let's go. Vice saying, hello, sir. How are you doing? How's your day? Zach Allergy says, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Walker says, hey, it's Wednesday, my dudes, that's right, and you know what that also means? Pump day. All right, let's see who else wants to be in this video. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, that's my boy right there. What's up, bro? How you doing? Rob says down. Okay, we like that. Cool, cool. And that's everybody for now, but I'll keep mentioning you guys. I'll keep putting you guys in the video as we go on. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm in the mirror. We got really bad news. Alexa, turn on the light. Light isn't responding. Okay, nothing's going right right now. I had to do it the old-fashioned way by just switching it, you know? <laughs> oh, there's the plow. Oh, that's a school bus. People have school today in this weather? But anyway, about that bad news, my manager just texted me saying, Hey, do you want to work tomorrow 5.30 to 9.30? I mean... Oh god. Like I'm really just trying to make videos with the time I'm not working and he just asked me that. Do I just say no, bro? I feel so bad. But the thing is if I say that I, I can't work because I'm trying to make YouTube videos, I feel like that's a really stupid excuse. Even though it's not an excuse, it's really what I'm trying to do. I, I, like every time I'm not working, I really want to make YouTube videos. I plan on making videos these past three days. I got one day down, today down, and then tomorrow, but then hey, I gotta work tomorrow, you know? Alright, back to my Twitter comments because that's the only thing that's lifting up my spirits right now. The fact that you guys actually want to reply and this camera won't actually focus. Hey, we yeah, this person saying hi cutie I know I'm, I'm just so cute I'm kidding I'm kidding don't think I was being actually serious there and then we got someone else saying hi what's up man how you doing then we got Brendan saying I'm down that's what's up I'm I'm not even liking these tweets I'm sorry about that here I'm gonna go back and like these after hit a backflip okay um I you know what? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about it. It's a blizzard outside right now, so I can use the snow as my cushion. Bro, I'm gonna do a backflip for this video. Am I gonna actually nail it? Probably not, but this is the best chance, too. I'm probably gonna snap my neck. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I don't want to go back to the ER and have more stitches done. Vorm, Varm? Okay, he said subscribe. I like that. He'll, I'm gonna like these tweets from now on. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do this backflip, but I'm gonna go shovel my driveway really quick just so I can, you know, not let it build up eventually. And I'm gonna keep adding snow onto one big pile so that way I can jump into it and not break my neck. My neighbor's out here snow blowing over there. So I'm gonna go join him. I'm gonna go help out. Alright, so I got all the snow piled up. Um, I'm ready for that backflip in just a second to end off the video. He said, what's up, Nate? You up next. I appreciate that. Um, creator code Derek. Is that what it is? I don't know. He said, keep killing it, brother. Big things are coming your way. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. DJ of the Leaf. He says, I'm down for this. Hell yeah, man. I like it. Um, and then Daniel... He says, hello and phase up. Hell yeah, phase up all day. Come on. Cheezer. Yo, what's good, brother? Cass, what's up? Yeah, you're in the video. Don't worry, I got you. Oh, this person wants to see me bust down. It's not happening today, but I'll like your tweet. Scrandy said, hells yes. <laughs> all right, I'm, I know what you meant. You meant hell yeah. Okay. Who else? Is there anyone else? Okay, that's it for now. I'm actually going to go try to find some shoes that'll be light enough that way, like, I won't have a ton of weight on my feet, so. All right, guys, I got my red Hirachis on. That's not actually what I was looking for. I was looking for my black uh, Adidas shoes, but I couldn't find them, so we're going to do with that. I'm actually kind of afraid because I don't want to hurt myself, but I'm gonna do it for the video. Open up the door. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Dude, it's still snowing so badly outside right now. God, bro, I swear I'm gonna hurt myself. Like, what if I actually hurt myself? Then it, this is my fault. I've never done a backflip before, so this would be my first, okay, since snow, so I don't feel it terrible. Oh, <laughs> god. 
<laughs> guys, I could actually snap my neck if I did this. I don't want to do this. Dude, I'm so scared. I'm telling you guys this right now. This is not a good, not a good idea. I'll do a front flip. How about I do a front flip? Okay, okay, here's the deal. If I, okay, I'll do a front flip for the video, okay? But if I get, if I get 50 likes on this video, I'll try to do a back flip tomorrow. Does that sound like a reasonable idea, right? Like, there'll be, there'll be enough snow where I have a lot of cushion, right? I don't want to, I don't want to snap my neck, guys. I want to be here tomorrow so I can actually make another video so I don't want to be in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Oh, should I just do the back flip? Bro, I don't know. You guys know that, uh, the saying that the Nelk boys have, false hand? That's, that's the mindset I have right now, but I just can't pull through. Bring this down just a little bit more, tighten that up so you guys get a better angle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Let me just see what it's like to hit a front flip first. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can't even do a front flip. Oh, okay, that's, dude, that wasn't even a front flip. Dude, I got so scared. I don't know why I don't like this. I can't do it. I just can't. Dude, the nerves are getting to me. I don't want to break my neck, bro. I really don't want to hurt myself. The blizzard people are looking at me like I'm crazy right now, driving past me. For anyone thinking I'm a bitch right now, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you are. You guys tried to go do a backflip in your backyard. See what the nerves do to you. I've never done a backflip before. I don't want to kill myself. Once again, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hope I don't kill myself. Here we go. One. Oh, God. Two. Three. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not good. I'm not doing this. You know, I lost my through my hand, bro. I don't. I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> what was that? I'm getting frostbite, bro. My glove is gone. I got. You know what? I'll see you guys in my next video. Phase up. Full send. That was terrible. I know. I'm sorry. Goodbye.